Welcome back to another video here at Ori's YouTube channel. Hope you are doing great. My name is Roberto George and today I want to share with you the easiest and cheapest way that I'm aware of that we can duplicate a image from one single multimedia device into two displays, two TVs, two projectors, anything that we want to use. And by that, I just need to use this HDMI splitter, which is right over here. And talking about this HDMI splitter, probably I shouldn't be doing this video because it's so simple to use it that you can go and purchase it with the link that I will leave down below and connect to your device and to your TVs and that is it. But having the risk of complicating something that it's actually really simple, let's go and take a look at some of the interesting details that we can find on this HDMI splitter. So inside the package we'll find the HDMI splitter, a power cable which is USB type A to USB type C and a quick user guide which is really straightforward and all the info will be also on Ori's website and I will leave the link down below and this is the package where it comes in so let's remove this out of the frame now just taking a quick look at it we have a HDMI cable that will connect to our multimedia streaming device it can be an Android TV box or any other device and then instead of having one output we will have with this HDMI splitter two exactly the same outputs output one and output two and then finally i just need to connect the usb cable now i've got here an nvidia shield tv which is a really well-known android tv box it only has one hdmi output so i would connect this hdmi end to the android tv box and then on the or a hdmi splitter i have two hdmi outputs which i would connect to my two tvs so i've got one cable here and the other cable here. Each of these cables will go to two different TVs. The only thing that I need to do now is to connect the USB cable, which I would use one of these USB-A ports here and then connect the other end here. But let's take a look at a real example. And now with a setup example for the Ore HDMI splitter, which is connected to this Windows 11 mini computer, which is probably not the best uh, streaming multimedia device but we also have here an NVIDIA Shield TV which we will connect in just a few moments so that we can see several things including disconnecting from one device and connecting to another. Now in terms of cable management I have it right over here so that we can see as best as possible how simple it is to connect the HDMI splitter to any device. So there is one HDMI cable that is built into the HDMI splitter that we will connect to any source, in this particular case connected to the Windows computer, and then there's also the USB type A to USB type C cable which will power the units. Now I did connect to the computer because it already has USB ports and it's right over here, but I could connect to the back of our TV, to the back of our projector or any other device or even a socket wall with a USB port. Anything will work to power the unit. Now on the other side we have two HDMI cables which will go out to any of the displays that we have which can be a TV, a monitor or any projector. So basically what we will have right over here is one image coming out being mirrored to to display. So whatever image I will show on this display, I will show on this as well. Of course, we are on a setup example here with both displays facing the same area. But for example, if I wanted to have one display on this wall here and the other display on the other side of the wall facing the other side, like a commercial space or a bar, a cafe, a hotel where we want to show a football game or a commercial and we only want to have one streaming device, but we want to multiply by several monitors or TVs, in this particular case multiplying by two. So this is the best scenario possible. One really interesting feature here among a lot of features that it has is that it will support up to 4K at 60Hz in terms of input and it will display the image according to what we have downscaling down to 1080 at 30 hertz and this means that if i have a multimedia device such as this windows computer here that outputs image up to 4k at 60 hertz but if my displays only support 1080 at 30 hertz i don't need to mix match because the device will do everything 
by its own automatically. So it will calculate the image resolution and also the refresh rate and it will apply a downscale according to what we have right over here, which in this example, 1080 at 30 hertz. A lot more specifications, I will leave some here on screen and also down below in the video description. But a important message is that it will pass through almost all the formats, including HDR pass through with 12 bit color def and a lot of audio formats as well. Now, in this example, we are using a computer, but I do believe that more interesting is to check out a multimedia device. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect from the computer and I'm going to connect on the NVIDIA Shield TV. So now I've connected to the NVIDIA Shield TV. Once again, we have an HDMI output and I'm also using the USB port on the back of the NVIDIA Shield TV to power the device. Now I could have left uh, the USB type A cable connected to the computer, but I wanted to uh, put it completely aside. So at this moment, the computer is doing nothing. It's just staying there. It doesn't exist. So as uh, I was saying before, so this is one of the examples where I did mention that I did connect the power to the mini computer, but at this moment I'm connecting the USB cable to the NVIDIA Shield TV and it's right over here on the same device, but I could connect on the back of the TV or the projector. Now, this is a proper multimedia device right over here, NVIDIA Shield TV. And for example, if I wanted to control this device uh, to put up a TV show, for example, and one of the scenarios or example that comes to my head is football games. Now, at this moment, I'm not going to put a football game, but if I put on any channel, what happens is that I could show this show to both displays at the same time. And this means that I will save a lot of money because HDMI splitters are a lot more cheaper than multimedia devices. And besides that, besides saving money, I will also save time. And I save time especially because when I know what I'm going to put on my TV, and I just lost the button, I'm not used to this remote control, when I know exactly what I'm going to put, so I will search the channel, I will put on the certain football game, which is not football at this moment, unfortunately, but I, it means that I just need to press the button once. So I did decide on this channel, or I did decide on that channel, and I know that the second TV, even if I'm not facing the TV, will have exactly the same image as we have on this one, which is really, really awesome. So as we can see, it works beautifully. We have seen other solutions. I will try to leave some links down below as well because this adapter here is for dual display. So if we are looking for a solution with more than two outputs, there are other solutions available at Aure's website. And it's simple as this. And probably you are wondering, hey Robert, why did you record this video showing something that it's really simple? And the idea behind is that I'm not really showing what you can do with this because it's almost self-explanatory, but I'm hoping that I'm sharing an idea or a solution to an issue that you probably didn't thought of it and right now being aware of this particular device you will think of some situations that probably you will take advantage of having only one multimedia device and share it to two tvs or two projectors to this place if that was the case don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen and if you still have any questions or any doubts don't hesitate to leave a comment down below or even contacting or a support email that i will leave down below if you still haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing it so so that you can keep on receiving news and tips such as this my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one